Ever wondered what happens when a desert turns into a tech powerhouse? Well, Arizona is showing us exactly how it's done. From mind-boggling semiconductor factories and solar mega farms that could power a small country to resorts so high-tech they make sci-fi movies jealous, the Grand Canyon State is practically building the future. So how did a hot, dry desert turn into the ultimate engineering playground? Let's dive into some of the wildest mega projects that are transforming Arizona at lightning speed. Buckle up, it's going to be a wild ride through the state that's hotter than a summer day and twice as exciting. Number 9. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company Semiconductor Fab In northern Phoenix, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company is building one of the world's most advanced semiconductor plants. This fab is more than a factory. It's a precision-engineered environment where physics, chemistry, and nanotech converge. Site selection prioritized geotechnical stability to avoid vibrations that could disrupt photolithography. Construction began with deep foundations and seismic isolation systems, followed by ultra flat concrete slabs and ISO class 1 to 2 clean rooms equipped with top-down laminar airflow and ULPA filtration to eliminate microparticles. Beneath the fab lies a subfab housing chemical systems, vacuum pumps, and triple contained pipelines for hazardous gases, safely isolated from sensitive equipment. Extreme UV lithography machines, some over 180 tons, are mounted on independent vibration dampening platforms. Power reliability is ensured through diesel generators, flywheel UPS systems, and dual grid connections. Massive volumes of ultra pure water, filtered to sub nanometer levels, are used used to clean wafers. This fab represents the future of precision manufacturing in Arizona's desert. Number 8. Six Resort Set near the Salt River in Phoenix, the Sixth Resort brings Vegas-style entertainment to the desert with a six-acre man-made lagoon and over a thousand luxury rooms. Engineers used impermeable liners and advanced filtration systems to maintain water quality in Arizona's dry climate. The resort's towers sit on deep concrete piles and feature reflective materials, ventilated facades, and high-performance glass to combat extreme heat. At its heart is a 360-degree amphitheater theater designed with acoustic and vibration isolation for immersive concerts without disrupting nearby guests. Behind the scenes, precision HVAC systems allow independent climate control, while solar panels boost energy efficiency. From its engineering to its elegance, the sixth resort is a showcase of sustainable luxury. Number 7. Loop 202 South Mountain Freeway Stretching over 22 miles through Phoenix's southwestern edge, the Loop 202 South Mountain Freeway represents one of Arizona's most significant infrastructure endeavors. The terrain challenged engineers with a combination of desert plains, flood-prone zones, and mountainous regions. In flood zones, high-capacity drainage systems, retention basins, and pump stations, many monitored remotely, were installed to handle flash floods. In mountainous sections, crews executed precision rock blasting to carve through South Mountain mountain without destabilizing nearby slopes. Post-blast, slopes were secured with soil nails, rock bolts, and geotextiles to prevent erosion. Engineers used modular, mechanically stabilized earth walls and long-span bridges made with post-tensioned concrete girders, allowing them to maintain a shallow profile in tight urban areas. With rubberized asphalt surfacing made from recycled tires, the freeway also tackles sustainability and reduces traffic noise. The project's complexity lay not just in its terrain, but also in its integration with existing city infrastructure. Flyovers, collector lanes, and braided ramps helped create seamless connections to Interstate 10 and local roads, easing congestion and improving safety. Number 6. South Central Light Rail Extension Spanning 5 miles from downtown Phoenix to Baseline Road, the South Central Light Rail Extension isn't just about mobility, it's about equity and connectivity. This corridor links underserved communities to economic opportunities in the city's core. Unlike free construction, which often starts from scratch, this project involved extensive underground utility relocation. Many of the utilities, decades old and poorly mapped, had to be dug up, replaced, or rerouted. To minimize impact, crews used hydro and vacuum excavation.
transportation in tight urban corridors. Once that work was complete, a slab track system was embedded directly into existing roadways, using continuous welded rail to reduce vibration and noise. In dense traffic areas, light rail vehicles share space with cars but benefit from signal prioritization to stay on schedule. New bridges, ADA compliant stations, and shaded platforms were all integrated with local architecture and urban design, while the entire project was phased to allow businesses to remain open throughout construction. Number 5. Agua Caliente Solar Project Out in the deserts of Yuma County lies one of the world's largest photovoltaic power plants, the Agua Caliente Solar Project. With a generating capacity of 290 megawatts, it covers 2,400 acres and uses thin film cadmium telluride solar modules, which are better suited to high heat and low light than traditional silicon panels. Instead of pouring concrete, steel support structures were driven directly into the ground using GPS-guided hydraulic machines. This approach sped up construction while minimizing environmental impact. Electricity is generated in modular blocks and converted from DC to AC via centralized inverters. The system includes advanced inverter technologies capable of voltage regulation and grid stabilization, functions typically performed by fossil fuel plants. The plant connects to the grid via a custom-built switchyard, allowing power to reach homes across Arizona and beyond. Despite its scale, the project maintains strict environmental compliance through dust control, wildlife monitoring, and erosion protection. Number 4. Cityscape Phoenix Occupying three city blocks in downtown Phoenix, Cityscape is a vertical mixed-use complex combining retail, residential, office, and hospitality space in one integrated development. Built atop a shared podium, the towers are supported by deep foundations designed to cope with Phoenix's volatile soil and water conditions. Post-tensioned concrete floors allow wide column spacing, giving residents and businesses flexible floor plans. To manage mixed-use functionality, buildings are acoustically and mechanically isolated from one another, preventing noise or vibrations from spilling between zones. Mechanical systems are zoned, and chilled water cooling ensures energy efficiency. At street level, the open-air plaza was built above underground parking, requiring carefully engineered deck systems to support landscaping and foot traffic while hiding infrastructure below. Cityscape stands as a bold testament to the idea of urban integration in a desert environment environment. And number 3. Mike O'Callaghan Pat Tillman Memorial Bridge just downstream of the Hoover Dam, this iconic structure connects Arizona and Nevada across the Black Canyon. It's the second highest bridge in the U.S., with a deck rising nearly 900 feet above the Colorado River. Its defining feature is a 1,060-foot concrete arch, the longest of its kind in North America. Built from both sides using a cantilever method, construction crews suspended arch segments with cable stays anchored to canyon walls. Wind, temperature, and alignment tolerances were monitored continuously to ensure precision. The bridge deck is supported by steel box girders and designed for seismic resilience, thermal expansion, and extreme wind loading. A pedestrian walkway offers breathtaking views, turning this engineering marvel into a tourist attraction. Number 2. Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport Nicknamed America's Friendliest Airport, Sky Harbor is an aviation behemoth engineered for efficiency and resilience. With three parallel runways, the longest over 11,000 feet, the airport handles fully loaded aircraft in Arizona's thin summer air. Taxiways and aprons use smart layout designs for faster aircraft movement, while high-strength concrete with embedded sensors manages heat-induced expansion and prevents cracking. Inside, terminals 3 and 4 are equipped with seismic-resistant frames, escalators, and hundreds of gates supported by independent HVAC power and baggage systems. An automated people mover, the PHX SkyTrain, connects terminals to parking and light rail. Mechanical systems are built with redundancy, and solar reflective roofing and ensures energy efficiency in the desert heat. From runway to rooftop, Sky Harbor is engineered for non-stop performance. Number 1. Sunlink Streetcar, Tucson Tucson's Sunlink Streetcar may be small in scale, under 4 miles, but it's a masterclass in urban integration. Built through downtown Tucson and the University of Arizona, the system required meticulous planning due to tight street corridors and historic surroundings. Crews rebuilt roads from the subgrade up, relocating outdated utilities and embedding grooved rails flush with the pavement. Vibration isolation pads were installed to reduce structural noise to nearby buildings. Overhead power systems were carefully designed to avoid clutter. With 
poles integrated into street lights. Vehicles are low floor and bi-directional, powered by 750 volts of DC electricity from discrete substations. With real-time tracking, signal prioritization, and accessible platforms, Sunlink isn't just a transit line, it's a reinvention of street-level mobility. If you found this look into Arizona's mega projects fascinating, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more deep dives into the world's most ambitious engineering marvels. Have thoughts on which project impressed you the most? Drop a comment below. We'd love to hear what you think. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.